Welcome back to episode seven of the Bikini Besties podcast. I'm Lauren Kralovic, here with... Kaylea Rhodes. Stephanie Warden. And we're really excited. We actually uh, submitted a question and answer box for the, today's episode topic, which is the would you rather questions. Um, none of us have read them yet, except Cody. Uh, so he's going to actually read those to us when we get to that. I think we're going to start with our usual kind of prep updates. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and we're twinning today because yeah, we just we came a- from performance posings. Group class. Woo-hoo. Yeah, which is really Cat's fun. morning of posing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, though. All the bikini things in one day. Yeah. You know, yeah. bikini yeah. posing, bikini podcast. Yeah, that's true. Sunday, all about I'm not sick of you guys yet. And our, you're not sick of us? <laughs> <laughs> We've seen a lot of each other in the last few hours. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. I feel like it's a, we get to still be our athlete selves, but also, like, hang with your best friends. Like... Yeah. That's like really fun. Yeah. That's why we do absolutely it. <laughs> okay, so you are the closest to a show. Yes. So, so yes. let's start with your prep update I stuff. Am two weeks out. So I'm doing the Wasatch show in Utah and I am currently existing. That, that is that is my <laughs> that's that is status. my prep update. <laughs> I'm existing day to day. So You're still um, smiling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I did yeah, we did posing class. I was great. Yeah, it was great. Tell. That was all my energy. So <laughs> 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 Die later. It's now cool. Just, yeah, now just to go home, <laughs> cardio, bed. That's pretty much it. <laughs> but how about you guys? Well, are you feeling more ready? Like being oh, yeah. two weeks out, yes. like your yeah, conditioning's been today. coming yeah, in. I saw her posing today, and yes. she is looking good. Yes, 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 yes. So Angeline has been working with me with fixing my front pose. So it's just all little posing things now, and then just repetition, repetition, repetition. So that hopefully muscle gets it because when I am on stage, your mind kind of well, my mind goes a little bit blank, and I just go back to what I've practiced so I'm really drilling it so that you know it just becomes muscle memory yeah so we are yeah close and then we're uh, driving down Thursday so Airbnb and everything like that so I've just been slowly accumulating Airbnb stuff like water (laughs) and like because what's nice is that because we're driving I don't have to Weigh a suitcase. Yeah, you can bring. So I can just bring everything. Mm-hmm. Everything is coming. Stuff in the car full. Yeah. Are you bringing the dog? Duke? Yeah, Aww. yeah. Duke's coming. Yeah, Aww. they have a little, little backyard fam. and everything, right? Aww. So it'll be good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it'll be nice. But what about you? Well, so this last week, um, I didn't have any weight changes. I actually went well. I increased in weight just slightly, and I feel like we kind of hit like a early plateau, and so I was like kind of bummed but then um but I've been feeling tighter still mm-hmm. so it's kind of like a weird part where it's like I feel like there's still changes happening but not a lot of movement on the scale which is okay um so we decided to push a little harder drop the food a little more up the cardio a lot my feet are hurting but it's uh-huh. cool it's cool <laughs> it's worth it <laughs> because like only a few days into the changes that we made in my diet and cardio like I already dropped to my new prep low. Yay. So yeah. finally, Woo. two days in a row, I got Yay. another 0. 0.4 oh, pounds today. Yay! Down. So. That's exciting. See? Things are <laughs> yes. good. It's results, happening. It's results. happening. <laughs> We're manifesting this day. So yes. it's worth it, I think, right now. Like, my food dropped lower than we wanted it to this early on in prep so far. But I think it's worth it to kind of push now. So, like, like I was talking to you about this weekend when we were talking about it, um, getting my self to like a lean level that we can actually start like almost like feeding myself before feeding into a show instead of pushing for a show that's why we haven't picked a show date yet um get my body to a more predictable leanness and then work on dialing and conditioning so Mm -hmm. I'm excited to do that and I think just seeing like an actual weight drop I don't know. It just felt like progress. Maybe so I'm like relieve, oh, feeling good. Oh, so maybe <laughs> it'll relieve stress and then yeah. you'll just start letting go of weight. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Like what I think yeah. almost yeah. feel like happened today. Cause yesterday yeah. I got the weight drop. So then like this morning I woke up and I'm like, I'm doing good and got up and did an hour of fasted cardio. There you go. And I was like, well, okay, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> this is real prep now, yeah. but like, it's, it's fun. Like I, re- I'm actually like, you almost get like excited doing like the, the hard things. Like, yeah. 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 And so it's like, okay, it's hard again, but like I'm in the zone. Yeah. So but you're seeing results. So the hard parts like feels worth it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so it's kind of like one of like, maybe uh, even though like my 
the, I'm hungrier and I'm a little more tired, I'm almost feeling more excited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of like that point in prep. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. (laughs) All right. Uh, Mine, I am six weeks out from Junior USA's. We, like two weeks, almost two weeks. I think it's like 10 or 14. I don't know. It's something. Almost two weeks. But we actually like started increasing my food because I was dropping weight. And so we've like literally the last two weeks-ish, I've been eating like my high day food. And we've actually done, we did one increase. Um, And my weight like was dropping, stayed steady. And then now it's like the, literally the last two or two days or so, it's been like spiking up. And I'm like, mm. but <laughs> it's my digestion's off. It's it's not like, I don't know. But because I've been eating higher food for like two weeks now, yeah. I'm like, okay, has that just added up to fat? Are we gaining fat now? No, no I'm just kidding. No, but <laughs> no, no. no, it's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> um, but no, it, weight's kind of been going up a little bit. And so that's just been a little bit of like, ugh. Yeah. Um, but I can tell it's like digestive stuff. I'm holding water. Like I don't feel as, you know, tight as yeah. before. So, but it's kind of been long enough. So we are going to, as of tomorrow, we're going to go back to kind of the condi- conditioning push phase. So mm-hmm. we're going to spend the next two, three days really pushing kind of a big increase in cardio and then a decrease in food and um my uh yeah try to get a bit lower than my last low and um it's only a couple pounds away from that that I need to maybe get from that last low so yeah and you're still in range which is really good yeah you know when now if you drop then your body will react to it right yeah it'll be good yeah it'll be good um, we'll do that for a couple of days and then the way, um, Paul kind of does things is then we'll go back to like a little recovery and then push recovery, put, that's kind of how we do it. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, kind of, I've enjoyed lots of food for the past two weeks <laughs> and now we're, today's but last clean day. clean food. It's like your, your meal's just a little bit higher, a little bit more. You yeah. You have been going wild. No, but it's, I want that food. I want right? my two rice cakes per meal. <laughs> I want my fruit every meal. Yes. <laughs> so good. Now it's going to go away. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah. yeah, no, it's all good. As you were describing, like, you know, like eating for two weeks, eating a little bit higher, higher high days, and then dr- you guys are going to drop back yeah. down to calories. I was thinking about it. I was like, your pro- body's probably going to respond so well to that mm-hmm. because it really is recovered. Like, yeah. when you call it, it recovery. Is. I feel recovered. I feel so good. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I feel fine. You're ready to push, right? I'm ready you to have push. That energy. And I am. I kind of want to. Like, I'm, yeah. And I think probably just because of the last two days of weird weight stuff and weird, not even just the weight, though. I do look a little like I'm holding water, and so mm-hmm. I can tell. So when you start to look like that, and it's just been long enough. Like, I'm ready to push. Yeah. I'm ready to get to And you're next. six weeks, I'm too. Six weeks. So, so it's weeks. like, yeah. You I'll be time. able to... Like, it's not like it's going to take six weeks to lose a couple pounds. It's going to take a week. It's yeah. going to, like, yeah. maybe take, yeah. Yeah. You know? Exactly, yeah. And then we'll go back to refeeding, and then we'll pull. Like, yeah. we'll just do what we got to do. It's literally at this point, I check in, like, every three or four days kind of now to mm-hmm. just see what we're doing with food. And just trying to, like, lose but then maintain. And then, yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah. good. I feel really good. I feel recovered. I'm ready to push. And um, I still need to book all my uh, Junior USA stuff. Have not done yes. that. <laughs> you said that, like, epi- I did say that last ago? time. I probably said that every weekend since. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will do that. I hate doing it. I need the I little know. travel assistant that just does it. I, I don't like doing just it. Like, be like, no, this is the fun. show. Go book yeah. it all. Here's the, the list. show. Here's my details. Go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm good. Just, yeah. That'll be good. That'll be good. Oh, that's fun. Well, so I think all our preps are going well. We're actually, I feel like you guys kept saying, oh, it's exciting that we're all in prep. And I hadn't really felt like I was deep into prep yet. I was like, oh, no, you guys are like, you've done a show. You're close to a show. Like, I don't even have one picked. But now I feel like, I don't know. I'm feeling like we're all like definitely in like that yep. prep zone. Yeah. Like we're all we'll do stuff like be gone for a couple hours and we're like each other we're like okay we're hungry. Yeah. 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 Everybody shows up with a lunchbox <laughs> <Yep>. everywhere. <laughs> all the flavored water. Meals. Oh yeah, that's been our thing. Oh yeah. I just learned about coconut something. Oh, yeah, yeah it was like water. coconut paradise Ugh. crystal light or something. It's Yum. like really really good. Yum. Like I'm a- on an orange vanilla kick right now. <laughs> yeah. Creamsicle. Creamsicle. Yeah. Orange yeah. lemonade and sweet tea. Those Sweet three tea. from the I from Walmart. Gra- actually, I, I hate grape. I am not a grape oh, yeah, flavor yeah. fan, but I this love you love grape. <laughs> love grape oh, is good. I do love orange cream too. Like, yeah, yeah, like, like yeah. a grape anything. I'm like, Ugh, don't Ugh, give me yeah. that. But yeah. this flavored water one, like it's grape, actually Walmart good, yeah. grape value. Yeah. Grape, oh, it is so good. Yeah. And okay. There's this blueberry lemonade crystal light one. If you mix that with magnesium, it tastes like a blueberry icy. Ooh. It's the greatest. I, I know what you're talking about. It's like a blackberry and then like blueberry, a lemon on it. Lemonade. Yeah, yeah, something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah. That and magnesium. Yeah. Calm. Oh, yeah. it's that like a blueberry icy. So I have it every yeah. night and it is. So ooh, good. I should make it into an icy. 
Oh, there you go. Niche. Freeze it. <laughs> Creamy. Dude, Light bulb. Okay, oh, my so gosh. You guys might not like this. I mean, I, I, I saw a commercial. It's limited time only at Wendy's. They what? have an orange uh, cream Shake? skull. No, it's like they're like well, We frosty. can't eat those. No, I know you can't. <laughs> yeah, we can't <laughs> eat those. <laughs> Cody, why are you selling this? <laughs> it sounds so Are you going to eat it for right? us? You'd have to eat it. Yeah, you have to. Well, I'm like, I ate a Subway sandwich the other day, and it messed me up. And I'm like, I can't do that. That's worse than Subway. <laughs> that's yeah, fair. that's fair. That's kind of like. But it looks so good. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We've all been on the kind of like a food video photo kick, too, on like yes. Instagram. <laughs> I have, I'll admit, like, I, I don't, I don't know if I talked about this on the podcast yet or just with you guys or someone, but it, this phase, so like I competed, I've been in prep for eight months. Prior to the last two shows, I was not food focused. I was fine. Mm -hmm. I was just like totally whatever. Yeah. Ever since the last show. So going, now I call this like, I feel like I'm restarting prep. Like, and so this next phase, I am. Am like I just want bites of everything. It is yeah. like taking everything in me to not make Ronnie's dinner and just like take a bite. Yeah. Like I'm just, <laughs> it is like everything in me. Yes. And I've been like putting Parmesan cheese on like everything he eats and yeah. it and then broiling it so it's all like. Oh my god! Oh, why are you <laughs> doing that to yourself? Because I want it. A little bit of torture, just a little just, bit of torture. Yeah, so this this phase has been a little yeah. bit harder with the food stuff. Right. We found but. some cool reels. I think uh, what was it? A uh, pizza cupcakes or oh, something yeah, like. Pizza that. cupcakes. Pizza that sounds really good. Pizza. Yeah, the pizza. Oh, I should have some little too. different pizzas. Yeah, yeah. And a little cupcake. It's yeah. Like a little like. Yeah, a little appetizer pizza. I was like, yeah. Yeah. stuff like that would be perfect, like post show where you can have like one like like yes. little things and you don't have to get like a a big thing. Even like I sent you like some donut bite or donut holes. Yep, donut. Yes. And so I was yeah. like, it's just a bite <laughs> of all yeah. the flavors. I want a bite of everything. I know the Wasatch donut wall. Oh, you ready for that? It'll be good. It'll be good. <laughs> right, pros go first, so we get first pick on the donuts. Yeah, you gotta get a picture. <laughs> you gotta get a picture in front of it. <laughs> I'm excited that we're all going to be there. I know. Right? It's going to be super cool. So exciting. Cool. It'll yeah. be so much yeah. fun. There's so many people friends. competing that we know, and yeah. there's so many people going that we know. I know. Yeah. That's going to be know. cool. I know. Yeah, except I've never been on a show like that. stage. Everyone's like, stop. And I'm like, ah. You're, we're, you were just saying to Chelsea, we're going to be doing right? that to you. When I, you know, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be cool because it's like we have people. It's on the pro and the amateur stage yeah, that we know people, mm -hmm. and the men, and women. Yeah. And so it's kind of cool. Like, I feel like it's, like, worth that we bought, like, prejudging and finals tickets. And yeah. It's kind of yeah. cool. We need to go to one of her shows. Because I've never seen you compete as a pro. As a pro. No, I've, as a pro. Yeah. I, so I'll see her, and I've seen yeah. her compete. Yeah. You've been to mine. I haven't seen you. Yeah. 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 So we'll you got to pick see. a close one. Yeah. I don't know. I am I was even, like, looking at the schedule, just kind of, like, which one would you, th would I, if I compete in this month, which one would I pick out of these? <laughs> There's just so many and I really, really have no clue. I don't yeah. know if it's like, and how I have we're no idea pick. what I'm doing after Wasatch either. So maybe yeah. we could even try and do the same so cool. one. That would be cool. All right? of us. You're right? No, you guys oh, true. Sure. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, yes, we do need to do that. Well, remember to do what? Uh, Junior Nats. Oh, that is that June? You know, I don't know if you June 22nd is Anthony's show. Oh. oh, so we're gonna be in Florida that weekend. <sighs> oh darn! Yeah, is that is that when Junior Nats is? Yeah, twenty second. Does Junior the Nats one that have has the pro? world? Is yeah. that the one it's with the, the pro? Oh yeah, that's yeah. the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll be. Yeah, yeah. We'll I should. Be at, yeah, exactly. Uh, there we go. South Florida Pro Two Twelve Show. Okay, cool. Well, that's cool for Anthony. Yeah, yeah. it's his first show back in two and a half years. Oh, so. yeah. that's super cool. I'm yeah. really, really stoked for him. It'll yeah. be his first open pro show. So is he, is he in prep? Did he start? Oh, yeah. He's oh, prepping. Oh, okay. You guys are both prepping. Okay. Yeah, he's cool. prepping. He's been prepping for a little bit. Um, his is a little different than ours. Oh, yeah. He has, like, <laughs> food involved. You can involved. Tell us the podcast and what it's like for a couple to prep together. Oh, I actually prefer <laughs> prepping together. I would imagine so. Yeah. yeah. Um, imagine one in prep and one. No. Well, like last year when Anthony wasn't in prep but you were prepping. Yeah, because we met and we were both on, like, strict meal plans. And so... And then in 2021, we prepped together for our pro cards and it was so fun because we were like so in the zone, like Sunday afternoons, we would go to the gym just to pose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it was cool because we're both like lean and in it and we would take my camera and we would mm -hmm. do photos and we would just like make a, a, you guys a are so dating. Good yeah. content. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's we so good content. Yeah. Um, we're, and then and you it, cold plunges. Yeah. We year. do mm -hmm. all sorts of crazy fun things together. And so it was always a kind of like a cool experience to do together. Yeah. But then last year, like just I prepped. And Anthony was so supportive and he came to every show and yeah. went to everything. But like on a 
Friday night, like he'd want to like go home and eat or he had a lot of food to eat and stuff. And I'd be like, oh, well, I got to pose. Yeah. And, and he's like, are Sunday you done yet? To pose. <laughs> and so I kind of just did it a little bit more on my own, yeah. Yeah. which I feel like a lot of people do anyway. And it's really good to be in your zone on your own. But like, it's really fun when your partner's doing it because mm-hmm. it's like you can kind of shut out the world, but you're both there together and in it. And yeah. it, it's fun. So I'm really looking forward to as we get a little deeper into prep doing that. Yeah, it's kind of fun, except for it's not fair. Like, I feel like my total daily food adds up to like two of his meals to <laughs> yeah yeah oh i'm like gosh. watch him eat all this food and he's just getting leaner and i'm like <laughs> how dare you That's funny. it's such a different process but it's really cool to see and yeah. it's really cool to support someone else doing it and reaching their dreams and yeah. working on their big goals so stoked to see that and we'll uh see how it goes so yeah, his season goes sure. But it's kind of fun to even like that he's starting a season before me because I'm just like more excited for that. Yeah. <laughs> we got to get the boys on the pod. Yes, yeah, we, we do. do. Oh, oh my goodness. Schedule that. Yeah. 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 Anthony's agreed to it. He said he was asking me the other day when he was coming. And I was like, well, I don't know. <laughs> he's excited. Yeah, he's I excited. Excited. I'll be on the bikini vest. I don't know. I was like, you know, bikini best, bikini boyfriends, I think. There we go, right? <laughs> exactly. Bessies That's the title. I like, that. I like that. Well, you guys are married, though, too. So Whatever. Whatever. But we'll roll with it. After hearing Zach talk about that, we're we're might be demoted. I don't know. I don't know. I love it. I love but it. But would you rather? What, yeah, that, what was mine? And, well, yep. before we start that, I wanted to say something at the beginning of this podcast, because we did ask you guys to submit questions and submit some of the things. We so appreciate everyone who's been listening and supporting. Yes. Um, even, yes. was it yesterday, mm-hmm. uh, Kaylee and I were at the gym, and this girl both approached us separately and just let us know like how like that she listened to our podcast. And it just meant bo- so much to both of us That's just awesome. to hear yeah. that feedback about how, like, listening to it while they're doing cardio and things like that and just like being able to like relate to things that we're talking about like it means a lot to us um and that's what we like so if you see us like at the gym or at wasatch warrior like or any of these shows that we go to like Mm -hmm. feel free to come up and talk to us yes say hi in person too or even like just shoot the the podcast a dm um and even like topics that you think of like even if we're not putting out a question and answer box we love to hear from you guys yes. and yeah. hear Always. what you, you want to hear, hear. Slide mm-hmm. into the DMs. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> all right what was your first the question the example question that you asked yes. to kick us, kick off, us off here off. okay so my would you rather was would you rather have your top or your bottoms fall off on stage I think we're pretty unanimous on what this one. Top, top, top for sure. For top. sure. Top. And it's because it's 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 going to still. Well, no. Well, well you can kind of feel it coming. Yeah, and, and then, then I can, say like, you grab. have two hands. Yes. and two boobs. So. Yes, <laughs> yeah, it's true. And then and then just right? scurry off stage. <laughs> yeah, you know exactly. what? Like, Janet Jackson moment. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. I think I'd be way more mortified if it was my bottoms. Yeah, like, I, yeah, I would consider more. never competing again. <laughs> yeah. Could you imagine be just like... being in that front pose? And then... Oh my god! Or you're in your back pose. Oh and my god! Your back, your back pose. Oh, That's you worse. would never see my face again. I would just like. I would back. retire. I would be off. Yeah, I would, I would feel shy. like no way. There's way no more way. exposure. Oh, to me. oh I didn't my think gosh. Back pose because there's like Definitely you get little nip slips all the time and little things. Yeah, it's like, meh, meh, whatever. yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's but like the bottoms. Sorry, guys. I'm literally imagining myself just walking we, off stage, grabbing my stuff, getting on the plane. Don't I'm talk out. to me. Just <laughs> I don't exist I'm, anymore. I'm yeah. dead. <laughs> I'm like, no way. I'm, you're moving back to Canada. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I would literally be on my way back she to Canada. island. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> she's, she's not island. She's up in the north. Yeah. Canada. Where yeah. No one. Lives. No one knows me. Right. Can you imagine? Aren't you that girl in the bikini besties? Aren't you that girl that uh, their bottoms fell off? Oh, my gosh. No. Just make a I would die. I would oh die. God. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Let us know what you guys would pick. Yes. So comment. Somebody did. Somebody did. Oh, did. Oh they? my yeah. gosh. Yeah, so it was. It was a. Uh, it was pretty um, surprising. Some of the answers, you know. You yeah. Know? Um, but, um, you know, someone agreed with you guys. Um, they said the coochie would just be too much of a struggle. <laughs> oh, so I think it's a unanimous. I, I don't agree. think anybody would want the bottoms to break. Like, yeah, no, you no. You don't have to be. Uh, yeah, we're all in agreement there. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. A special type of person. <laughs> um, 
I do want to start one that's kind of off topic, but just um, not off topic, but someone kind of DM'd us and asked us a question. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, you can make it a would you rather kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, But um, this girl wants to know with, um, do you ever get bothered um, uh, bringing a scale to a restaurant? So in the, the scenario, basically, here's what she says. So random, but... Do waiters ever get bothered? Do mm. the restaurant, do you ever get complaints? Do you ever, like, um, have uh, any restriction yeah. when it comes yeah. to that? Or, like, backlash, backlash. or some sort of, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we went out together, and you brought your scale that time. Yeah. Um, when we went, I forget, it was, like, barbecue I, or something. I've never, so I'm, I'm pretty, like, quiet about it. So I don't, yeah. like, I don't make it a thing. I don't go, I'm not eating, I have my food, and here's my scale, and I don't do that. I actually, what I do is I keep it in my bag, Mm -hmm. keep everything in my purse, in my bag. I let um, my husband, whoever I'm with, order, and then I order usually like a Diet Coke and water. Maybe I ask for a plate. I don't know. And or I just say, I'm just not eating and I'm just hanging out. And then when everyone gets their food, I just, when the waiter goes away, I pull out mine and put it on my plate. Um, Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I just don't make it. A, huge, a thing yeah. because That's what I do. some restaurants do have and I I don't remember this and I don't know all the rules um but I have been once this was years ago once was told by a waiter that oh you can't bring your own food in here mm-hmm. and and um and I just and I just kind of looked at them and I was like uh I I'm compete. I'm not going to eat anything on this menu. I'm sorry. Like, is it okay? I'm just going to put this on the plate and I don't need you to warm it up or anything. Like I'm just, and they were kind of like, okay, yeah, you're fine. Like they just kind of left it alone and was fine. Mm -hmm. That's the only instance I've ever had. Other than that, just kept it on the download and make it a big deal. Yeah. 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 For if you're bringing your own food, because in prep, I don't measure out food at the restaurant like i don't order a salad and chicken and then then weigh the chicken sorry mm-hmm. that that is the question they did bring their food they're not weighing food that the waiter brings okay yeah, yeah. So they, they, okay yeah. they brought their own they mm-hmm. brought their own yeah mm-hmm. oh yeah just i keep wait. mine in like a discreet little black mm-hmm. neoprene lunchbox mm-hmm. thing and i actually preheat it the neoprene sleeve yeah. keeps it warm mm-hmm. um and I like tuck it in my purse and I'll even do like Anthony's because we go ours together. We'll put them in a thing and I'll put it in my purse and just bring it in. And then I put it like, you know, hang my purse on the chair, put it next to us. I don't put it up on the table. I don't make a big deal. Mm-hmm. I let everyone else in the group order their food. And then I just wait until, you know, like all their foods in front of them. And I slowly just put it up, bring it out. And I just eat my food quietly and I just don't make a big deal about it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In the past, when I first started competing, I did, like, call a restaurant one time to ask if I could because I was, like, nervous about doing it because yeah. I never brought food to a restaurant. Yeah. And they were like, no. And I was yeah, like, they'll say no. Oh, like, they'll say yeah. no. Okay. And then like, yeah. we had to, like, switch restaurants. Yeah. Cause, like, I think it's, yeah, one of those food. situations where you, like, ask for forgiveness later. And, yeah. yeah. You no, know? yeah, don't ask for permission. You just ask for forgiveness. You cannot ask them to warm up your food. Yeah. They cannot bring yeah. outside yeah. food. Don't like, that's a health thing. It's a health thing. Yeah, it's a health thing. violation. And I yeah. think that might be, I don't know, maybe someone in the restaurant industry can, like, fill us in on this because I don't know. But um, I think that might be kind of why they don't want you bringing your own food anyways, period, mm-hmm. into the restaurant. Mm-hmm. Um, even if they're not having you warm it up or if it's just a, like, it might be like allergies a, to a like policy people. because yeah. then like sales and th- I don't know. I don't sales know mostly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, when it comes down to bottom line, like if people are bringing food, they're not ordering food. Mm-hmm. So I always do something to like order a diet Coke yep. or a coffee yep. um, because you're going to be paying for something. Mm-hmm. 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 So at least you're like, still a paying customer yes. sitting there and you're not mm-hmm. a customer that's coming in and not getting right. anything. Yeah. Yeah. And I always leave a tip too for my coffee. Like, so it's like, even if it's like a, three dollar coffee i'll leave like a five dollar tip it's more than the coffee cost but it's like they like saw you eating other food yeah. and yeah. they are appreciative and they let yeah. you stay there i've always had the thought in my mind too like if i was pulled out my food and the waiter or waitress came up to me and nicely was like hey i'm sorry but like my manager saw that you're eating not our food can you like they're not yeah. just going to be like you must leave they're going to probably yeah. just ask you to put it away and at that point you know what i would nicely do i would just pack it back up in my bag put it back under my bag and i would just continue having my good eat night and evening with my friends mm-hmm. and i'd eat it in the car when i was done yeah, yeah. i'd enjoy like, my diet coke yeah, yeah and i would two or three of them yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> refills, refills are usually free yes yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but like i wouldn't make a big deal out of it. you are choosing to be at a public establishment in mm-hmm. prop doing the thing it's their business so you have to kind of respect that ultimately but if you just discreetly quietly 
do your thing, most people will just leave you alone and won't even look twice. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. usually not a thing. Yeah, no, I think I, I do something similar to both of you guys. But if you, I guess, if you didn't bring a meal and you had to pick an option on the menu, what are your go-tos that are more prep friendly? House salad with grilled chicken. Yep, that's mine too. House salad, yeah, house, sal- or house salad, grilled chicken. Or grilled shrimp. Grilled shrimp. Um, if I'm a little further out, um, I'll sometimes I'll do f- the fish meal is usually seafood is usually my go to because it's the easiest, I think, to kind of um, stay within what I what I uh, my goals are. Um, so usually I look for like a halibut or like, a, a, well, usually it's not tilapia or like a cod. Yeah. And then they usually come with like rice and seasonal vegetables. And then usually I'll leave the rice just because they usually will cook things with oils and that yeah. kind of thing um yeah. but Some that's kind of my go-to we'll have like a side of white rice too yeah yeah and i'll yeah. Do, order things like or that. sides yeah we usually do sides like yeah. i'll have these three sides yeah <laughs> like, I'll, it depends on how where i'm at in the prep yeah. if it's middle i really do try to avoid this is like me not eating restaurant food yeah. because of you don't know how they cook it yeah. and stuff yeah but if i'm like further out this is like i would think like, like 18 plus just weeks. Start it, yeah like uh, then that for or a month 20. or so like i'll get like a salad grilled chicken or grilled shrimp or if i have carbs i'll get a, a plain baked potato yeah yes. so like yes. a just plain say baked potato yeah. broccoli or asparagus and I asked them to like cook it in no oils or anything like that mm-hmm. and then the chicken or grilled chicken or shrimp and try to ask no oils or anything like that yeah. those are like so carb vegetable protein yeah if not a salad yeah and so then, you just try and keep it as simple as yeah. possible and as whole as yep. possible yeah. and I do bring I bring a little uh travel scale mm-hmm. and I do like to weigh like the potato and the yeah. bro- and the meat and um, just to make sure I'm close to accurate. So mm-hmm. I will just pull out this little tiny, set it aside and just kind of put it on there and then put it back on the plate. And yeah, yeah. easy yeah. peasy. I've, easy. And I usually actually don't do that in prep, even if I'm far out. If I say yeah. I'm in prep, I'm in prep. Yeah. Um, but my improvement season, I actually do, if unless it's a f- scheduled free meal, like let's say it's a Tuesday night and someone invited me to something, I will probably be trying to stick to my macros and that's when I'll order something yeah. like that um and I do it year yeah. round unless I'm totally like I guess if I if I weren't competing anymore I wouldn't do that yeah. but I don't know I've taken my improvement seasons fairly seriously the last couple times and unless I have a scheduled free meal which is usually what once a week in in my improvement season I just that's all that when yeah. I would do that. Yeah, I, st- I, I prefer it too because then you don't know. Because sometimes digestion too with restaurant food, sometimes I find that my digestion is just a little off for the next two to three days, kind of. Yeah, if it's but improved- I try really hard to kind of stick with it but I found yeah. myself in spots bef- um, I guess earlier this prep like I had an interview and mm-hmm. so I really didn't want to bring my food to this yeah. interview that kind of thing and so and work was, comes first yeah work comes first <laughs> and so there were just a couple of situations um, you, you know where I was work. like you know what I think I just like, I got to order something like, yeah that one that, yeah that, because you're so on it yeah nine and I told my coach yeah, yeah exactly and I told my coach, you're like so. okay hey I kind of had to do this and it's such yeah. a you chose the like it, it you're not going to notice anything yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. So next question, would you rathers? Yes. So next question is from Zach. Would you rather your tan run like dripping paint or all your extensions fall out? I would rather all my extensions fall out because it's just hair. Yeah. I would rather, I mean, I don't have extensions. Yeah. yeah <laughs> but yeah. I'd rather all my extensions fall out yeah. because I don't have them. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> Just that kidding. Works. I'm like, yeah, because your tan be would affect your physique to me. And if my yeah. extensions fall out, I'm like, the my physique is still in that and still judge your physique. Yeah. 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 It'd be embarrassing and be like, oh, whoops, yeah. sorry. Yeah. I'd be like, <laughs> but I think, yeah, I would not want a runny tan. I would that would be bad. Tan. No. Yo, yo, yo. No. Next question. Would you rather have a female coach or a male coach and why? Ooh. Oh, that's actually a really that's a good, good question. quality question, would not just a funny one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I would you rather have a female or a male? Okay, I'll, I'll just answer it yeah. for me. I've had both. Yeah. Um, I've had a female coach who was a great coach. Um, I've had two of them, actually, my, when I very first started. And um, and they were great, and it, it was all fine, and then – my last two have been males, and I do prefer male. Now, for me specifically, I do personally just have a little bit more of a masculine mindset with a lot of things, the way I am, and 
the way I think about things. And, um, and so I just tend to relate more to how a male coaches me. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't need, um, what do you think the difference is? Is it more like cut and dry? More cut and dry. I don't need like, um, the hand, I don't need hand holding. I don't need the rah, rah cheerleader. Mm -hmm. If you do, that's okay. This is not, we all have different needs and what we need, Mm -hmm. um, for coaching. I just, and I don't need the, like, um, like, I'm not good at like the hey girl like the yeah. the fluffy talk like I'm I'm very vo- very much like tell me what to do I'm gonna do it I'll mm-hmm. check I'll talk to you when you need me to check in next like mm-hmm. I'm very much like that like yeah. matter of fact um and th- so and I have just found that more in male coaches mm-hmm. and uh yeah so I don't know that's that's mine yeah that's fair yeah. Yeah. I actually haven't had a female coach before so I don't know. Uh, I I don't know, like from experience. Is there a reason you've only chose male coaches? I don't think I've actually looked for like specifically male, but I'm like you and I'm very cut and dry. Um, I think I said in an early podcast episode that like I don't do emoticons. I don't do exclamation marks or anything like there's no emotion at all. And so I like (laughs) I'm just very like to the point, like, what do you want me to do? And yeah, like you said, I I don't need as much like emotional support, I I guess. Um, Or I don't look for that from my coach. Mm -hmm. I look for that from my husband. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) he gets that great, great part of me (laughs) I've had mostly female coaches I've had three female coaches and then this is the first time I've ever had a male coach that's so funny so you've had both female and I've had none just male yeah that's so funny yeah so I originally I think I just I chose a female coach because it was someone I looked up to and I just mm-hmm. related really well to and I didn't really know the sport very well. And I chose like a local coach that just because I wanted to do what she was doing and she was coaching. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think the my last coach, it was really great to be on a, an all-female team. Okay. Um, there was a team of female coaches. We had retreats. It was really cool to be part of a, an experience with a bigger team. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm really grateful for that whole experience and as I've moved on as an athlete it's kind of like instead I've gone to a point where I'm I loved having all those connections I loved meeting this really really great business focused women and and the community that was there but now I'm a little bit more focused on just me as an athlete and I wanting to reach my higher goals Mm -hmm. and so when I was looking for a coach I wasn't looking for male or female it was really looking who do I think can get me to a higher spot on the pro stage. And it just happened to be that I chose a male coach this time. And I think that like the only thing that was like different for me about like that I even acknowledged that it was male coach was like thinking about asking even like my boyfriend, like I'm going to be sending this man a lot of photos of me in a bikini. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And that was the only thing that was kind of different. Like, I don't know if you guys ever had any experience with significant others being like, you're sending a man on pictures of you in a bikini. Cause I've had people ask me that. Like I've heard that that from other competitors for sure. And I'm not shy or. Yeah. Yeah. The way I look at it is like we do body build. So to be honest, like a person's body, like if I just, if I saw a naked someone, I honestly don't even. I'm just kind of like, okay, like, like those are glutes. That's not like a butt. They're glutes. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. They're delts. Yeah. They're abs. Yeah. Like to me, I I look at bodies yeah. differently than. Yeah. And also, like when we send check-in pictures, they're in our poses. They're in a front pose, back yeah. pose. Yes. And it's we are. We're in a swimsuit. Like yeah. we're in a. We're not wearing anything that's you know. Um, yeah. Like, like I mean, yeah, maybe not all of us wear that kind of bottom to a beach, maybe. But yeah. like, um, I don't know. I just think of it more of a job and professional yeah. and like. Uh, mm-hmm. yeah. I think I'd have a different reaction if I got maybe a comment back from a coach that yeah. wasn't like bodybuilding related right. or something like that. That might Those make me feel a little. Perfect. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And that's that where it's like me. I felt confident even with that little like baby idea in the back of my head or like mm-hmm. someone's because someone asked me about that when I was looking at coaches and I was like no I'm picking someone incredibly professional and there would be no issue because it's Mm -hmm. just bodybuilding professionalism and Mm -hmm. and so that hasn't been a worry or concern of mine but that was just kind of something that when when people were picking that was like one thing that someone asked me and I was like huh I think when um when I picked my like my coaches after the two females I actually thought about uh, so I worked in corporate at the time and I actually thought about like my, the managers that I've had. And for some reason I've always just had really strong relationships. Like 
have been really, really productive when I've had like male managers. Mm -hmm. And I think it's to your point of like, there's no emotion. It doesn't seem like we have to be careful with how we say things like voice. Yeah. yeah, Tone of voice Mm -hmm. or anything like that. I could just say like, I need this. This is this. Yeah. Like, what do you need? Like, it's yeah. just been very transactional. And that doesn't mean it's all female coaches. Because I know, like, for me, especially if, if when, as I start coaching, I am very, like, to right. the point. I'm very matter of fact. Right. So there's always exceptions. Yes. But just for the most part. Because, I mean, with Shane, I also, like, told him. I'm, like, at the very beginning, I'm, like, I don't want any, like, you know, do you mean this? Did you mean this by this? I'm, like, I this is what I expect of you. And I think I would have asked that of a male or female. He and he was yeah. very matter of fact. So I'm, like, okay, cool we are going to get along (laughs) and it's kind of like like what lauren said about when she was looking for a coach she wasn't necessarily looking for male or female Mm -hmm. i kind of think that's how it is now for me like if i ever needed to look for another coach Mm -hmm. it wouldn't be okay i only want a male these are the male coaches right it's going to be like what are my goals Mm -hmm. who is getting other athletes to their goals like it's going to be like are we a personality fit are they do do they have the skill and yeah what aligns Mm -hmm. it's not male or female yeah 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 that was absolutely what made my decision it was Mm -hmm. literally like who as a person is going to get me to my goal Mm -hmm. Um, I think there tends to be even though just I think why people end up with a lot there's a lot of male coaches there's there's a lot of male coaches Mm there for whatever reason they're like especially at the top level like mm-hmm. they're good at what they do they i, I don't know mm-hmm. there's there are just i think more yeah maybe coaches. a majority yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you might so just end up with, up yeah kind of that way so that's uh, it we got two of these questions so i'll just kind of combine them together they're, the, they're basically the same thing but mm-hmm. would you rather have more cardio or eat less food oh i Ooh, thought of one. this one this is one i was gonna like submit if i submitted <laughs> one <laughs> that would be something to think about what'd like, you do then Oh my gosh. For some reason it seems like I get both the low cardio <laughs> or the yeah, high cardio and low true. food. That's bikini. <laughs> that's bikini. Um I think it, Oh geez. That's a I really, just want to know really if I'm on the stairmaster or the treadmill. <laughs> if I'm on the treadmill then yeah, more cardio, sure. <laughs> Sometimes when um I think it depends also my season in life. I know when I wasn't working, um, and Shane asked me that question, do you know, do I want to drop food? Do I want higher cardio? I wanted higher cardio because yeah. I had more time. Um and then, you know, when I started working more like five, six days a week, I opted for less food because um one, I don't have as much time during the day. And two, because I'm so busy, I didn't really notice as much the hunger or I didn't have, you know, focus on it quite as much. So sometimes I think it depends on like what's going That's on. What I, yeah. Cause yeah. I would say prior preps or prior years of competing, 1000% would say, give me less food or give me more food and less. Hang on. Help me out here, guys. <laughs> less I'm opposite. <food>. I'm <laughs> less food. Together. I'd rather have. Less food and more cardio. Yeah. No, less cardio. Why is this so hard for you? It's either more <laughs> cardio or This is less the real food. Right. trying to think through this rather. Jeez. Okay. I would rather have more food. Yeah. And less. And more. <laughs> and more cardio. And more cardio. Yeah. Now I'm confusing you Yeah, guys. I think you're saying, yeah, yeah, now, yeah, yeah. now you're confusing me. I'm done me. answering. Next. <laughs> no, okay. I used to say, because now you I want to less. Like... But now I want less food. Um... More no, car- more cardio. Yeah, you're yeah. good. You got I it. I do it. I think right? you're doing it. Yeah. You no. Used, I think I feel like you. <laughs> Watch this confusing. Yeah. You used to. I think you. You okay, said this I, okay. This is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to relate to Steph yes. right now because I'm busy <laughs> and I don't have time for cardio. So what so would less, that scenario less be? Less cardio, less cardio, less cardio, but less less, less, less food. food. Okay, less I rather food. have yeah. whoa, less cardio, less food. Yeah. Because it I is have, like f all the rules. <laughs> right? I just want more food. I just want more yeah, food and right? cardio. I just want to just the easy route, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Oh, what oh, about you, Lo? I think <laughs> that's funny. I think right now i would choose more food and more cardio but i think there'd be like a limit like i feel like if i hit a certain amount of cardio i'd be like okay no more cardio take from my food now yeah because yeah you'd reach your threshold yeah because i've i mean i've been trying the very intentional cardio because i really want this to work (laughs) um and so like my i'm laying in bed and my like feet hurt and i'm like no more yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. but when I had I used to have like where I was hitting like when I was deep in prep last mm-hmm. year I'd be hitting 20,000 steps a day and it was no problem because I was just in my zone mm-hmm. and I was like I can do more 
And she's like, you can you do more cardio? I'm like, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Because I just was in the zone and I had time. And yeah, I walked my dog a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it just depends where you're at. Yeah, it really it does. What's yeah. going on. Uh, next one is: Would you rather have meal plan or macros? Okay, this has changed for me. So I, yeah. I've always done macros. I've never been on a meal plan. However, and I used to always say macros only, no meal plan. Like I used to be very anti meal plan until I became more educated. So um, on just how different coaches do things and why. Mm -hmm. And so now. I'm still, my coach still gives me macros, but now what I do is I make my own meal plan. Mm -hmm. And so it's just as if that coach gave me a meal plan. Like there's a vegetable, there's a protein, there's a carb. It's mm -hmm. almost the same, similar thing. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's so, it's just, it's almost the same thing. I'm just making it myself. Mm -hmm. And I even tell my coach what I'm eating. Yeah. Like I even, just to make sure, like, yeah. you know, I don't know. And, um, and I eat that same, those same foods and those same meals every single day for weeks until like my macros change. And then I kind of change them a little bit, mm -hmm. but I'm doing no recipes, no, nothing fancy. It is like a meal plan. Yeah. If you look at my meals and you, if you look at my meals compared to someone who's given a meal plan, they're going to almost look the exact same. Mm -hmm. So I'm very like, find what's best for you. Like now I'm too busy like I don't have time to like think of new ma foods to fit my macros mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. so I just make my little meal plan so yeah um, but I think that's a skill though to be because yes. I know at the very beginning when I started competing yeah. I definitely couldn't take macros and make a meal plan or yeah. like you know like into the same a degree like um so I think you know if you're very very beginner really just see kind of how much flexibility or actually look at how much work you want to put in to your diet or like that part of it because I think when you're a beginner um choosing the macros route will take a little bit more time because you have yeah, to learn right. like what's fits how in the fit. macros mm -hmm. what meal works for you digestion all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff um so you might opt for a meal plan just so that you know from that coach what he expects of you or what she expects of you um so that might be something um that's yeah. different right yeah and a lot of time when you're new like you don't know you're just learning weighing your food for the first time right. you're just learning about like what like Learning about all this stuff. So if a coach can give you a meal plan that's like, hey, just eat this. Yeah. And all you got to learn how to do is just put it on the scale. Yeah. Then that then teaches you, yes, those habits and yes. behaviors yeah. that then you can now implement macros. Yeah. I think that's like, that is a good kind of way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I have done both. Like I started my first preps. I did all macros only. And there's so many things I'm like looking back at. I'm like, why was I even eating those foods? Mm -hmm. Like. It was just so random. And then I did years of solid meal plan. Even my improvement season was a meal plan for a long time. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I learned so much being on a meal plan yeah. because I knew what the coach expected. Mm -hmm. I Like instead of one, two, three, four, five, it was like had those, but it had this one's a pre-workout. This one's a post-workout. Mm -hmm. And it had it kind of like I could see, oh, so we're putting fats here. Oh, well, a little more carbs here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you learn. And then I switched last year. I did my whole prep on macros. But I did a very similar thing where I kind of like mm -hmm. create one. It's just I don't even have to think because it's just the same thing every day. Yeah. Um, and you can buy your specific oh. foods. Mm -hmm. um, I just didn't even – I. I knew how to make my meal plan better for what worked for me. Right. Yeah. Um, I, sometimes I wish I were just told a meal plan because it's so easy. There's no question. There's no thinking. There's no, yeah. Yeah. there's no variable, you know, like it's the coach, you know, you're eating exactly what your coach wants you to eat. And I yeah. love the simplicity of it. Like you literally don't even have to know the numbers of anything except yeah. for what it says on the piece of paper. Execute. I, love it. And, how easy that um, is. Most coaches, um, I just want to say that, like, sometimes you might think, like, a meal plan might be more rigid, but I know that most coaches will put, like, you can have um, oatmeal, you can have, I, I think on mine it was, like, oatmeal, you can have two slices of bread, you can have, Oat like, swap. they would have options in yeah, terms of options. swaps. Or protein options right? are a big one. Like. Yeah, but that also, to me, yeah. will help you learn, like, what things are appropriate swaps as opposed to, cause I know when I was first beginning, I'm like, Oh, my mom made this for dinner. I can kind of like, what's the macros of this. And now I'm like, okay, that does not work. Not work but yeah. like, you know, like yeah. there's the things that you do, wouldn't know if you didn't um, try a meal plan. So I think trying yeah. both and just seeing what season of life you're in and what, like how much energy you want to put into that diet planning. Yeah. You know, 
I'm still doing macros. I thought with yeah, my new we're coach. We're all macros, right? We, we, okay, yeah. So if yeah. you have to pick one forever, would you macros, rather? Macros. Forever? Oh, macros. 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 I think if so it, I think starting out. Yeah. Meal plan might meal teach plan? you some things. Unless you have some. Some coaches are really good at teaching their athletes macros and yeah. how to eat that way. And mm-hmm. so, um, but I think it tends to be like meal plan leads into macros. Because now we know how to take the behaviors of a meal plan and apply them to macros mm-hmm. and uh, mm-hmm. yeah we're kind of doing part of the coach's job because they gave us macros yeah. i do my meal plan <laughs> and then i send that meal plan to my coach yeah. to be like this is what i'm eating and if you have any hesitation then let me know, let me know. Yeah. yeah yeah i think there's different like phases too sometimes it's nice to like improvement season hands down I always want macros because oh, yeah. i want the most flexibility i want to be able to make things work or like squeeze something in because i have more calories mm-hmm. but then like prep like I if my coach like called me tomorrow and was like all right meal plan time I'd be like okay yeah like I I love I want I'm so excited to be exact and mm-hmm. some even do it some coaches I know I've heard of coaches that you'll you'll be on macros in improvement season you'll be on macros for the beginning parts of your prep but as it gets closer like where we mm-hmm. got to really pay attention to some like you know six to eight weeks out something like that I'm mm-hmm. just giving out numbers but yeah. then they switch to a meal plan okay yeah. we need you now more this is what you're eating this is mm-hmm. the time of day you're eating just more yeah. rigid because mm-hmm. you're getting closer to that where that uh, detail matters so yeah. sometimes that's a thing and yeah. if someone's not competing or they're just trying to lose weight I like so highly recommend macros yes because even then like let's say you're have a busy family thing you can pick and choose things that maybe they're already eating and fit it into your macros Mm -hmm. like it is so great to reach other goals other than competing yeah Mm -hmm. no absolutely next question would you and i I, we can make this a forever thing uh (laughs) strapless heels or strap or regular heels strapped I totally thought you were going to say strapless. Mm-hmm. I thought you liked those ones, the naked ones, right? I, yeah, I do like them, but I Cody, I like being called naked. Ooh. Right? I know. Look at him. He knows Strap it all. From you guys. He knows it all. <laughs> um, I feel more like in the shoe, and one of my feet is smaller than the other. So, <laughs> what? yeah, like slightly. Like I'm a 10, I think, on my right foot and a 9.5 my left. So oh. I just like the strap. But I've also gone through many straps. Yeah, yeah you, you have, have, have yeah. strap stories. Yeah, yeah. Right? she does. Four stories. Yeah, I, right? I, know. I just pair. bought another pair just for, because I only had one pair for this coming show. And I was like, oh, no, stop. Okay, no, 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 I have no, to have two. Have one. I have to have two. You have two, yeah. too much strap yeah. issues. Yeah. I was funny. Use, so I am a, I'm strapped because I like how my foot feels secure in yeah. the shoe. However... I understand the strap list because it's so much easier to put your feet in backstage. Like, especially if there's like, if you're kind of rushing or if whatever, you're in a hurry or just, or just to be able to slip them on and off. I understand that. Yeah. That is nice. Yeah. And practicing too. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, well I, so I have two, I have like a million pairs of heels, but yeah. I've got two that I use <clears throat> one with strap, one without, I do catch myself practicing in my non-strap heels a lot because yeah, they're just so just easier, easier. To put on yeah and off. but then for real life stage i bring i bring both but i use my strap ones for the mm-hmm. stage just i'm secure i, I know she's straps different. forever yeah like until i think t- but by uh, i can't even, i think it was like 2022 pra- off season i switched um and then i've just done strapless since then um, I like it. And honestly, like the, pra- the ease of even practicing, I am more like, I know it's like the tiniest, like 30 second task to buckle the oh, straps. Oh no, those 30 second tasks add up when you have no <laughs> yeah. energy. Yeah. But like, I am so much more likely to like slip on my shoes, like even at the house and yeah. practice or like even post-workout, like having my shoes in my backpack. Cause I carry them with me every time I go to the gym. So I practice yeah. all the time, <laughs> but I'm just so much more likely to put them on actually, because they don't I don't have to buckle them yeah (laughs) but then I became it also I think it can I think the strapless can actually look very polished but they're clear so if you have a strap no one can see it anyway really and nobody's paying attention to if it's strapped or strapless I think as long as the shoe fits well it's comfortable you're confident it's personal preference yeah you can't you I mean you yeah I mean you can but like you can't. It's you can't. I don't remember ever detail. looking at people's we don't look feet at, you don't on the stage. Feet. Yeah. <laughs> and on an offshoot of that one, because there it was a little bit more trendy, and then not as much lately. But like blingy heels, or oh. yeah, I used to be. Heels. I used to be a blingy heel girl. I used <laughs> yeah. to want all the bling. But this is what happens as you compete more. You kind of like it's kind of like the people who want like different colored suits that are out of the norm and like 
this the diff they want they, they want to be different mm-hmm. um stand yeah stand yeah. out and i used to be really into blingy heels and now i'm like no just simple classy like yep. i want and here's the thing they make blingy heels and it's fine mm-hmm. you, it, like if you get them from the shoe fairy it's going to be the standard typically yeah. like they're not making heels typically that are outside yeah. of the standard yeah but um but you'll notice that like most advanced level competitors pros top olympians they're just wearing a classic heel just mm-hmm. a classic simple yeah. minimal minimal minimalist. yeah the focus is the physique yeah the, and like yeah. that's the point like jewelry suit everything just is more of the classic standard and then the focus is the physique yeah agreed mm-hmm. i like that yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. i have had full blinked pairs of heels and they looked fine it was fun i think i did that for my pro debut yeah. Yeah. Um, because i broke my strap literally right after I got oh. my pro card. It was after. <laughs> not was two days like, before? <laughs> no, no, not right before. But it was like th- hanging on threads. Because like I have a thing about my heels where it's like I like them broken in. Even though like they're all about the same. I like yeah. knowing that my foot fits perfectly in that <laughs> shoe. And I, oh, this is also something for me. I don't practice with socks on. No. Because no. I feel like the feel is different. Yeah. No, so is. like I don't you care don't if your toes are cold. Stage. You don't have socks on stage. It feels yeah. different. Like, I'll even, like, if my hair is gross and greasy, I'll still, some mo- most of the time, pull it out of a ponytail because I like to practice, like, especially when I'm closer to stage. Um, I like to practice the way it's going to be on stage. As so I want my possible, shoe yeah. broken in. I want to be the exact pair of shoes I'm wearing on heels. I want my hair down. I want my posing bottoms on. Yeah. I want it to feel like I'm on there because it's that's the feel. I don't know. I yeah. think it, maybe it's just a weird No, that's true. Thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's smart. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> to tell me. Next. <laughs> All right. We're on the, down to the last two. Um, this one's pretty good. Um, where did it go? Uh, would you rather go on stage without a tan or no makeup? Ooh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's easy for me without a tan. <laughs> well, for you. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's like, like <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, who's to know? Less. <laughs> <laughs> just some shine. Uh, <laughs> she'll just put some glaze on. She's right. good. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've had terrifying nightmares of showing up not like where I'm like not tanned Same. yet. And no or make- not makeup yet. Yeah. Like, you're just not ready. You're like, you know, okay, in wait, that, though. like. No makeup artist makeup? Can I do myself? No, no makeup. No, no, no makeup. makeup. No makeup. No makeup. Zero. No I lashes. Like, I feel like you would get pulled. Nothing. Well, extensions. They're just nope. on No me. makeup at all. Nothing. I feel like <laughs> a tan or makeup, if you didn't have makeup, you're going to get, you wouldn't get as docked down. As, as the tan. As Correct. The tan. I agree. Yeah. I think so too. I think you need that tan, yeah. especially yeah. like fair skin. And we can get away with. No makeup. Yes. <laughs> I can still have glam hair, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hair, yeah. Hair, yeah. Hair, hair. Yep. But yeah. I think I'd rather have my tan. I'd rather than have my, my makeup. Tan. Because oh, like, like I a tanning bed tan. No, no, it's not yeah, the same. It's not the same. Even if you were tanning bed tanned, it wouldn't oh, wow. be the same. You know, it's yeah. not even even yeah, like I'd Steph wears pro tan stuff because of the color tone. Yeah. yeah. It's not yeah. even Just about being dark. Evening and evening. Yeah, because I use the two minute tan that you guys yeah. use for the beach. That one. I don't even use the base coat. I don't have any base coat. I just have that and the top coat. Yeah. Like, but it still helps the, the tone. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah. Last question. Clean carb up meal or dirty? Clean. <laughs> I, mean, I wish I could be that person that did dirty, but yeah, clean. I <laughs> your clean. digestion. Clean. Your digestion. I've done both. Um, the funniest thing is the times I got my highest pro placing when I got my pro card. All those times I ate five guys. I know you're so <laughs> really? good with that five yeah. guys. Yeah, she's five so guys. good with it. I've done like steak and I've fries, and it didn't do as good. Five guys. Chipotle, no, you can't do Chipotle. I feel like that's a, sh- it, that's uh. such a terrible like, uh, like. Choice. It's definitely something yeah. you should test before you go do it. Yeah, yeah but sure, with all but... of those times, I had been regularly refeeding on Five Guys. Okay, okay. so I yeah. knew Te- you'd been testing. I was it. doing it good new. on it, and I, I knew did Five I Guys too before. I've yeah. never, I've never carved up on a dirty thing. It's always been tracked carbs and fats. I've done so, Reese's peanut butter cups. Candy? No, nope. you've never done that. Yeah, the candy at the yeah. Be- oh, backstage. I've done candy. I won't. I don't do that anymore. I don't. Yeah, like I don't it. do it anymore I, at I all. I think it either. makes me. I, I don't like it. Honestly, I, I, I just I've do had what? a coach do candy, but didn't give really parameters on it. It was just like, 
have some candy. And so I don't know if I had too much and like, yeah. but if like, if the artificialness or the sodium or the sugar was, too, I don't know. I just don't feel like it. I didn't like it. Yeah. I won't ever do it again. Yeah. So I'm yeah. a very um, clean carb up person now. Mm -hmm. And if, and now I have new coaching. So if that coach, if we ever get to a point where we are going to try some kind of dirty carb up, I don't see it happening, but he's, I've, he's done it with athletes. So mm -hmm. I, it's a thing, but it would definitely be something we tested before. Yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think like the more advanced I get, like the more I want details, yeah. I yeah. want specifics. I like feeling exact. Yes. Yeah. So I feel like at this point, like I, I can have like, a burger afterwards. Yeah. Yes. Cause like, it's also easier to replicate. Like if yeah. you like that stage yeah. look, then you know exactly what you ate, exactly what time, all that kind of thing. And the other reason I wouldn't want a dirty carb up is because um, usually I have all my clean food with me and if I have to go and get a burger and go and get fries, right. like, I don't know, you have to go find it as the same place. Uh, yeah. It just I gets so and much, I, you know, and it's not as, ex <laughs> it's not fun. I don't know. It's the atmosphere is just not the same in terms of like being relaxed and yeah. like, you know, yep. having that burger afterwards might yeah. be a little bit more enjoyable than like eating a couple bites, looking at your core, eating a couple, you know what I mean? Like just like, we're so focused on yeah. like, how our waists look. Like yeah. that's why I feel like I finally kind of nailed what foods to eat carving up and for peak week and for that show day mm -hmm. and yeah. my waist is tight and yeah. I can control it and I'm like I don't want to do anything feel else good. Like that. yeah <laughs> yeah exactly okay so I think that wraps up our would you rather questions and I think it's kind of interesting that most people submitted more like, like real prep real, questions yeah. which mm -hmm. I love because it gave us a lot to talk about I was like thinking people post juicier is like funnier goofier stuff yeah, yeah. <laughs> i was good. i was like, ready for my live reaction <laughs> right <laughs> but if, i really actually appreciate the fact that people really want to know more about what it takes to be on stage mm -hmm. prep life the lifestyle how we do things yeah. exactly like, and how yeah. things change for us from being earlier amateurs yeah. to um later on in our oh, careers that's what we have to do we need to talk about like we need to go through like the like what, what we wish we knew then we oh. know now ah, that yeah that's cool a topic. good one like yeah from yeah. our beginning then stages versus now. then versus yeah. now then versus now yes that would say that's a great topic that's, that's a great idea that's a good one yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of yeah brainstorming on the go right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well i'm like really excited that we will just keep coming up with more ideas and mm -hmm. never ending podcast list never yeah ending. i was like we can we could talk all day like, <laughs> we could talk for hours and hours it's like we have to like limit ourselves okay this is the topic right <laughs> stay on topic yeah. but this was kind of fun i like the questions too because then we can kind of bounce around from a little topic to little topic mm -hmm. but, so yeah let us know what you liked about this episode um what future things uh, maybe something we talked about you want to hear a little bit more yeah. about um so just let us know as you always do as you always yes. do <laughs> letting us know <laughs> all right thanks guys bye bye, bye.